so yesterday we began with the discussion whether happiness is our innate nature or is it an external influence and we had a discussion over this now happiness being an innate nature means that the source of happiness is inside i am happy naturally by myself you can take an external influence means that i have to depend on something outside for happiness now when the source of happiness is inside it is certainly on account of the development of the self i am able to develop myself i am able to ensure the right understanding and right feeling within me by virtue of which i am naturally happy every moment but if that is not the case then i have to depend on something outside for my happiness so we started the discussion on this topic yesterday now if you have any reflection on this or any question regarding this you may kindly share uh yesterday i observed myself uh is it uh, true but uh, why it is happening uh, uh sometimes i am unhappy because of external influence uh, it is the um, uh, yeah, we can say that it is a uh, impact of the external influence bhaiya i uh, yes. external influence yeah that also means that you are happy because of external influence only then ha 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 external influences are making you happy or unhappy ha 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 external uh, they uh, they both giving me uh, it, it may be uh, an ex excitement na yes ha uh, so but uh, happiness ha huh? yeah kya yeah, please say bhaiya uh. Uh, because of uh, external influence uh, uh, yesterday i observed for myself uh, uh, around the one hour uh, i sat at uh, uh, one place and i observed myself i seen that uh, um, uh, i am happy no problem but sometimes uh, some uh, back uh, histories are uh, coming uh, into my imagination and they are uh, just uh, uh, changing my mood Uh, so uh, it may be a, a ba uh, uh, back history I, i can't be able to explain in, uh, in the word so wh why this happens yeah so that is true in fact when you are there with yourself and you are removing yeah. all the external influences yes. for example mobile tv you know books any other person yes. and you are just there with yourself yes. and then so many thoughts are occurring to you you get yes. reminded of so many past things yes that is because and you get unhappy out of it that is because you are not resolved over those issues ji bhaiya ji bhaiya yes yes i got it bhaiya yes thank you bhaiya namaste bhaiya yeah if i have the right understanding ha then i will not get troubled by that i am able yes. to see the solution there in i am able to see the relations is there i am able to yeah. see the harmony there ji ji bhaiya i got something and um, from day one <laughs> i am uh, just attending both the session bhaiya uh, yesterday i uh, i couldn't be able to attend the english session but uh, i decided that i will attend the both the session now, right now and i am writing also bhaiya <laughs> very nice bhaiya you have made yeah. the journal Uh, yeah yeah i made it and yesterday i whatever the uh, written material i sent to the umesh bhai also and he said that very good <laughs> thank you bhaiya nice very nice yes yeah, yeah thank you thank you bhaiya ji ji bhai uh in my previous sessions in the morning uh i have observed that yes i need to be i um, want to be happy every moment in continuity uh but suppose i depend on the outside of external objects maybe events or persons anything then sometimes i may get happiness from there but not always so therefore uh, i understand that yes if it is not in outside it must be in inside but i have not found very clearly about how it 
it is there happiness is there all the moment so that was my observation yesterday thank you nice that is something that we are <clears throat> trying to ensure that i am happy every moment by myself yeah yeah i'll participate outside i'll participate in relationship <clears throat> with my family members with my colleagues with people in the society but i am not participating to fetch happiness from outside i am participating with a feeling of happiness this is only when the happiness becomes my innate nature isn't it yes yes then Nine only years. there is a there is a guarantee that yes i may be happy all the moment okay thank you there is a guarantee what did you say say it again bhaiya no the, if i seek inside only then there may be a guarantee that yes, yes. i may be yes. happy every moment yes. that's what yes. thank you so we have taken this assignment yesterday like one thing that i asked is happiness your innate nature or an external influence then the second thing was that try sitting by yourself without your mobile laptop newspaper a book etc for about half an hour and notice if you are at ease comfortable within or uncomfortable within how long is it before you get restless and think of reaching for your mobile phone mobile phone laptop getting up to go and meet someone etc so with all this what could you conclude from this exercise note your observations in a journal and we'll discuss this this is the second day of the 10th session and i'm happy to share my experience with you all uh, but yeah uh, as the exercise says uh, that is happiness your innate nature or, or an external influence i will deal uh, with that after uh, sharing my experience uh, about second point uh, yesterday uh, Uh, the full day in fact i observed my uh, state of mind and uh, maybe because of the last two three sessions i could see that i am uh, at ease uh, very much comfortable within and every time uh, since morning when we uh, celebrated our may day at office and then all the other several programs and i could see that i was very much uh, comfortable within uh, at the evening time when the, all the past were uh, not there uh, i just sat for one hour and uh, earlier when uh, i used to sit uh, or such things so uh, because of uh, say some um, uh, is uh, mobiles and everything so i could uh, feel uh, restless uh, at earlier times but this time i have decided to sit for uh, one hour completely and i could see that uh, uh, there was no uh, discomfort i was just observing my uh, imagination my thought my expectations and uh, my feelings and i was feeling uh, i could see that uh, i was at ease uh, but at times i could feel that i was feeling a bit sleepy also and i can see uh, i could see also that uh, there were some issues of some planning that uh, say for example today or tomorrow i have to do something again we are got elections mm-hmm. at our state and uh, there were some issues some tasks to do so those thoughts were also coming but then i could also tell my myself that uh, see i have committed to sit for one hour so let me sit for one hour and i could see my uh, feelings that time also but uh, i was at ease and that was very uh, uh, that was very nice feeling for me because earlier when i could see myself that uh, uh, for how long i could continue uh, sitting Uh, uh in spite of all, uh, you know all these uh, thoughts coming in my mind but this time uh, i have uh, just uh, committed myself no we have to sit there is nothing uh, uh, rushy okay we can do that thing afterwards also so uh, i just said i could sit for one hour completely and uh, it was very comfortable sitting for me and uh, in fact uh, you know earlier when i when i should sit Uh, so any thought of some planning some task some urgency could come in my mind i used to uh, uh, i used to rise from my seat and then write it in some uh, you know diary or some uh, uh, there is a notebook in uh, uh, mobile also so i could write that and and then when, uh, and then come back to city but this time yesterday i just committed myself to sit for one hour 
and uh, as the committee uh, you know went uh, as the sitting went long uh, i was at uh, say i was feeling very much confident also and i was feeling happy for me also happy this is yes i could do it for one hour and uh, it was very comfortable very freshening and uh, that was the experience which i could uh, or which i want to uh, uh, share with you all uh, what uh, i could conclude from this exercise uh, yes uh, definitely uh, that uh, as we rightly uh, said that yes i am the one who is uh, the uh, you know the decision maker so that i could also see uh, the experience which i could uh, get from uh, this one hour uh, sitting was very freshening very comfortable and i could see it, uh, and i can see that uh, this uh, uh, happiness or this uh, 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 being at ease is there inside me only and uh, i could also observe myself that there was no external influence which can make me uh, happy here and in that one hour time so these are my observations today and uh, with regard to your uh, first question is happiness your innate nature or an external influence uh, uh, maybe because of the last two three sessions practice uh, now uh, i'm not tending uh, to seek happiness from outside and i and i could see that it is there uh, inside me also but uh, uh, with regard to uh, understanding of uh, the uh, phrase innate nature i'm just uh, you know thinking a bit uh, about it Uh, because uh, the term nature to me is something which is uh, just attached to me and then there is innate nature means it is with me it is inside me so uh, in a way i can say that uh, i may not be uh, seeking happiness from outside i may uh, i may be seeking uh, happiness from uh, inside uh, but uh, is happiness my innate nature Uh, that it is with me mujhse juda hua hai mere sath hai that uh, you know so that observation or to usko dekhna uh, is uh, a bit difficult uh, for me at this point of time so this is what i want to share to you bhaiya please guide thank you no so what you are saying is that is happiness associated with me so of course associated with me that is something that we are able to see but we are trying to see the source of happiness whether it is inside me or outside me yeah so we are looking for source and source is there definitely inside me that i can see okay yeah so yeah. Uh, uh, say for example when the question says that is happiness your innate nature or shall we replace the question with are you looking happiness inside or are you seeking happiness outside shall we replace that question because when we say that is happiness your innate nature so it becomes a bit difficult to uh, you know gather the meaning uh, and associate the meaning with the source of happiness because when we say innate nature means it is something which is innate in, in me it is there with me it is there inside me and when we say uh, the source of uh, happiness it means we are looking for the source of happiness so the only way uh, uh, i mean uh, the, uh, the options which uh, uh, which are proposed here are is the source inside you or is the source outside you okay so uh, i can see that what uh, is the gist of what you are outside. saying here me see what is the gist of what you gist are saying gist is gist is can we replace this uh, proposal that is happiness your innate nature with are you seeking happiness inside you can we replace this can we replace this replace this yeah i mean i mean suppose uh, uh, suppose i write this number one line uh, is happiness your innate nature or an external influence so shall i say that is happiness uh, is your internal influence or an external influence or no, 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 are you seeking things. happiness okay. from your inside or from outside uh, so innate nature doesn't mean that it is an internal influence it means that i am happy by myself with right understanding right feeling we'll come to that and when it is an external influence then it is some source of temporary happiness outside and what could be the source is we'll look into it so the point is whether i have to depend on something outside for happiness or i am happy naturally no that is i got see, see no, that no, no. i got getting the meaning of question is one thing 
the mm. second thing or which is more important is that am i able to see that i am happy by myself or i have to run i have to run for happiness outside i have to depend on something outside so that i could get it the meaning which you tell is clear see question being clear is one thing yeah now what is the outcome that i am able to see this is what is being questioned here yeah that is what you rightly said and uh, uh, we could also see that uh, uh, if uh, happiness is to be there and if i'm looking happiness or if i'm seeking happiness from outside then i could see that it is not the happiness which i want because i want happiness in continuity and uh, the happiness which i get from external source is not there in continuity with me i have to shift from one source of happiness to other source of happiness when i'm looking Uh, for happiness uh, outside but yeah, if yeah. Uh, but if i l- look at inside i can see that yes it is there with me that i could see i mean what does it mean it is there with me so am is i there? happy now you see uh, like <laughs> he spoke so many things but i am just saying yeah. make it very crisp and just try to see whether you are happy naturally or you have to look for happiness outside this is what is being said okay yeah, yeah. there we can directly articulate for how much time i am happy by myself and when do i have to look for outside so, so anyway uh, find it out we are yeah just out. just uh, just my proposal is this that can we replace this number one line with uh, am i really happy naturally like you know these simple words when we say innate nature the meaning of innate nature is something i mean uh, the way we are uh, trained uh, to understand the uh, term nature swabhav uh, Yeah, so you know this is said. different no no wait wait that is what is being said it is is it my swabhav or is it a prabhav ha ah, so swa ke beech mein ek dash laga de to bhav wo samajh mein aata hai par agar swabhav kar de to fir wo bolte hai ki yaar ye iska swabhav aisa hai iska swabhav aisa hai wait. hai na so that meaning is there uh, through parampara with me so i can take this no, no. line as See, is it my swabhav they will always have some limitation we have to look into the meaning G, so that's what I said. That is that is there that I could get. G, yeah. Thank you, Bia. Nice, nice, Bia. Uh, sir, I would uh, like to ask a question. When you say that uh, our happiness outside factors, I agree that I our happiness should not depend on our laptop or phone or gadgets, or you know, um, someone said something to us. Uh, to that extent i agree but then when we say that our happiness should not agree, uh, depend on our relationships uh, th- there i don't uh, kind of agree to it or maybe I, that does not happen for me for example uh, if someone um, for example my child or someone in the family needs an accident uh, that will definitely make us unhappy uh, we can change this term to at least um, peace of mind for example that i have always at peace with myself i don't have contradictory emotions but not necessarily happiness if something because we also talk about relationships we talk about human values that uh, human beings need relationships so that is a source of happiness or unhappiness i think throughout our life yeah now if you are able to see that happiness is to be in a state of harmony mm-hmm. in all the situations like somebody meets yeah. an accident or something you know happened mm-hmm. in the family would you like to be in harmony still or do you like to run into disharmony no i would not want to run into disharmony i would want to do the right thing but obviously i will not be in a happy state uh, that's what i mean so the term happiness is like uh, uh, incorrect at certain points that is because we associate the meaning happy meaning of happiness to excitement most of the time and that's how we mm-hmm. say that if something ana uh, has happened in the family uh, then why should i be happy with that incident because we are associating the word happiness to excitement here but if you equate happiness to harmony then whatever happens in the family i would like to mm-hmm. continue with the state of harmony isn't it with the state of okay. harmony i would like to participate like somebody meets an accident so i of course would like to go and help and take all the responsibilities mm-hmm. Certainly, but I would not like to be in a state of disharmony, discomfort because of that. In fact, when I am in harmony, then I can make right decisions. When I am in disharmony, then I may make wrong decisions. 
isn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah. So we have to see how we equate this word or how we try to relate this word harmony to uh sorry happiness to if i am able to see that happiness is to be in a state of harmony then yes i would like to continue in the state of harmony but if happiness is something like an excitement then of course not in fact we can also see that i would not like to be excited any moment i would like to be you know, uh, at ease with me i would like to be uh, at peace with me why not Mm -hmm. So, like as Ravi Kanji was mentioning the word nature, so similarly, like we have been using these words in multiple ways and many times they are not the right way. So nature, the way we use today, sabhav, so we generally associate it with conditionings. Similarly, the happiness, we generally associate it with excitement. So that is something which I have to look into. Okay, thank you, sir. Nice, so from yesterday's observation, one thing I observe that is uh, if I talk about my happiness, when I was sitting with myself and spending me time, I observe that my happiness is getting influenced by the external factors, mainly uh, like I was thinking about the people and based on the relationship my happiness is getting influenced. I was thinking about the people like uh, those who make me uncomfortable in my workplace. And yes, I observed that most of the time I was thinking about the like uh, incident which was not expected, some unexpected uh, situation, maybe in the classroom, maybe uh, some uh, like uh, classes of decision between my colleagues. And at the same time, some unexpected incident in my workplace also. And because of that, that time I felt unhappy. And when I was spending me time with myself, I was just thinking about all those things. And I was getting, uh, of course, unease. And later on, I try to make myself comfortable with this, that um, whatever is happened, it was not in your control. So you need to pay attention to the things which is in your control and you feel privileged, whatever you, you have. I was trying to console myself, my soul. But uh, yes, I observed that I was getting disturbed by the external factors. And one thing for the first time, like after attending UHB 2, uh, this is for the first time, I guess, in my life, I was so much enthusiastic to attend the session. And I wake up early in the morning just to attend the session. I don't know like what exactly is happening, but I'm getting a different kind of motivation or like inspiration from like yesterday's session and today's session also. And I really, I was very much enthusiastic to attend the session and maybe these ex external factors which are creating hinders in, in the constant, uh, like getting happiness in our life and which is somehow not getting from my innate, from myself. So maybe after attending the session, through the observation, through doing the self-exploration, gradually external factors will transform into innate nature, I believe. This is the observation from uh, yesterday's uh, activity. Well, yeah. Thank you. Where are you? I'm right staying in, in, I'm staying right now in Raigarh, Chhattisgarh. And you have done UHV 2 workshop also? Yes, yes, Bhaiya. Nice, nice. And after that, I can see the transformation. Like earlier, I always have one problem. That is, uh, means I am a happy go and lucky person. But uh, one problem is there, like if things are not happening in the way I am expecting. And interesting fact is that my work life normally influences my personal life. I must, I am a person who is so much obsessed with the professional work. And when something happened and because of that, I usually get disturbed. But after attending UHB1, I realized that everything, I means things are not in our control except ourselves or myself. So I started paying attention to myself. 
but somehow it was not a like a smooth journey after attending second session i realized that i need to do the work the way i feel happy or like uh, the work will make a harmonious life for me as well as for the society also but as i mentioned that yesterday for the first time i spend a certain time with myself without using mobile phone book or newspaper uh, which is not happened earlier and i observed that this is something that uh, unpredictable incident that making my happiness you know like creating and hinders in my happiness and thank you so much for such kind of like giving us the opportunity to do the exploration and to know ourselves in a better way or like the uh, like getting uh, giving a opportunity to get the best version of ourselves thank you so much so which profession you are in you are into teaching yes yes bhaiya i am in teaching profession where are you teaching i am working in op jindal university raigarh okay okay nice so just see whether uh, this course has been implemented in op jindal or not there is one op jindal we actually in after Bangalore. attending this session uh, me and there is one more faculty from humanities department i basically belong to humanities department so both of us we started initiative we have conducted 30 hour session as well and now we are planning for the second session and uh, successfully we have con conducted truly but somehow my expectation was that uh, students initially students registered more than 250 but gradually i saw that only uh, 30 students were regular so again i was unhappy after observing that the number of students was more than 200 but they are not attending once these kind of things influence my happiness bhaiya i don't know so like how to affiliated to aict or ugc affiliated to aict because this is here engineering courses are there so we uh, um, yeah So as per ICT mandate, you can implement SIP, that is Student Induction Program, as well as UHV two. Uh, yes, we are we are planning for that also. We have already discussed with the management uh, from the uh, like next year means this upcoming year. We will introduce this one in introduction means Student Induction Program as well, so that at least they they get familiar with this, and gradually. Uh, although me and one of my colleague we started the journey. but i saw right now many more people are from different branches they are showing their interest and they are uh, like saying that they will also contribute for making this uh, like journey a smooth one on behalf of uh, the means uh, to make our students life uh, you know like transforming let's see how it will work nice nice didi <clears throat> in fact uh, the 30 hour course is a value added course but that is optional so if you make it a mandatory uhvt course a part of the curriculum then that will help better and then you can develop more faculty also you can also plan to have self funded introductory workshops in your university that will also develop a team there i will definitely discuss with the management bhaiya yeah. uh, thank you thank you bhaiya yeah. ji uh, kumar bhaiya yeah, i want to share my yesterday's experience uh, within uh, within a minute probably yesterday was the holiday and uh, by 10:30 after taking uh, my breakfast and all i started working physically working along with a labor for my um, garden you can say or it's a somewhat bigger garden for the protection and nurturing the trees i used to that man used to cut some branches of the uh, thorny uh, thorny tree and i was bringing just i was carrying it and making a round along with the compound for the nurturing or protection of the trees bhaiya from 11 to 3 pm i didn't touch any mobile or nothing was possible this number one number two only uh, for lunch i took break we both and touch the mobile to see the uhv uh, uh, team development activity in the evening what is my role then finally 6:30 the job over 
and i was throughout the day happy and so i thought that with happiness i i have done all the things and definitely it is the innate nature nothing is required no newspaper no mobile nothing tv i don't watch even so i think it is innateness and it is all being done as the innateness so is this somewhat excitement bhaiya uh i'll say that you remove the external influences for some time and that mm-hmm. is a good thing so mm-hmm. you did some experiment and you found that you were successful in that experiment and mm-hmm. you have to continue with that so i have mm-hmm. to see whether i interact with things outside for happiness or with happiness with happiness ji yeah this is something that i have to see ji ji one moment only do yeah. do there was bhaiya uh, please i will finish do there were some thorns they were going into my hands or feet everything because it was all thorny but i was <laughs> i was happy <laughs> ji thank you nice bhaiya ஆமையா <laughs> 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 Uh, i had a talk with my uncle uh, who was uh, reviewing our translation so i just personally took time, time some time yesterday to talk to him and find time so that we can uh, review our translation first and second modules by yeah so he gave some time uh, that we will do shortly after this uhv3 workshop when jagdish is free by yeah so nice, that nice is one thing and uh, you know Uh, i have, personally i believe uh, that happiness is our innate nature but still uh, there will be lot of external experiences uh, external factors which will be influencing the happiness so it will definitely take some time uh, to reach that state and uh, feel that really happiness is uh, innate is our innate nature we understand but in practice it is very difficult by yeah because daily i see a lot of things are influencing me and uh, i am i am reacting to them in spite of knowing that happiness is within us only <laughs> so that is my uh, conclusion by yeah so i take some more time to for self explanation and settle in this issue nice didi nice now that Thanks. you are into this process so <laughs> yes we'll keep on interacting Uh, yeah bhai yeah we are going to continue with the morning sessions i uh, yeah bhai yeah. today also i have one uh, body but i thought i'll sit here up to 6:30 then afterwards i'll <laughs> get the other thing done at home i'll try bhai yeah, maximum thank you thank you one and all namaste <laughs> namaste uh, sir for me i feel that uh, we have happiness sadness everything is there within us so uh, for me uh, i feel that it is we need to learn how to have a balance in this duality mhm so like which is existing within me and outside me if i have that balance i don't think so i can name that state okay how do you define this balance a uh, being like calm and going with the flow mm-hmm. and it I'm needs a lot of energy see. like we need to focus uh, even uh, i think it's a practice today i might speak i might get influenced by the external factors but i need to observe myself like uh, what am i doing like whatever i did is right or wrong it's not about right or wrong it's like uh, just evaluating myself like on what basis i'm talking now yeah that is fine so evaluating oneself yeah evaluating oneself observing oneself 
and even uh, for that process i think we need to uh, meditate meditate in the sense uh, the difference between meditation and uhv i find is because i was doing meditation uh, there in the meditation when i practice meditation uh, whatever situation comes in front of me it will be dealt very easily without my effort now i'm not practicing actually so i know i've uh, missed it like uh, since i'm not practicing i know what are the things happening with me and i'm not i know that i'm not dealing with it properly and i need to put effort mm -hmm. see the issue is But not of this and that so you can continue with that in addition you can ob start observing this also see, yeah this is an activity is wherein i'll be just checking with my uh, Uh, like i put questions and uh, based on that uh, i will try to find the answers within so what i felt is yesterday happiness is like uh, for me also the same question arise like whether it is an innate no i felt like everything exists only thing is all those feelings like with all those feelings i need to have a balance like how do i have it uh, that is also a question yeah so what i am proposing here is not to have a balance i am saying that happiness is can be my innate nature i can be happy by myself and i can be free of external influences so the external factors are there i will be participating with the external factors no, like, but you know the external factors are not constant like it's not uh, it's uncertain that's what so if happiness becomes my innate nature i think uh it's an experience every day experience but the thing is yeah we uh, uh to we can have that uh, i think we have to have that control also wait wait now what is being said here is that happiness can be my innate nature that is the source of happiness can be inside me based on right understanding and right feeling and then whatever happens outside is not going to influence me i will be participating with the people outside You know, I will be participating in the nature outside, but with a feeling of happiness and not seeking happiness outside. Presently, yeah, what I we do. are doing, we are trying to seek happiness outside, and that is the problem. Then there is no continuity, no definiteness. There is dependence outside. All those factors are there. We'll talk about them. So essentially, whether I am seeking happiness outside or I am able to see happiness inside. Sir, it is there inside. Uh, I seek happiness within me, but uh, it's it's not so easy to tell that I see. Yeah, I see it, sir. But external things are there, no? It will obviously influence you. And to overcome that, we need to have a very strong, like uh, whatever it is, situation. I need to take it very strongly and with the right understanding. I have to move. Yeah, it is there, but every day dealing with that, <laughs> it's not easy. we are not saying that this is easy and we are not also saying that this is difficult we are saying that we have this to do the right happen. thing this can happen only when all of us understand this uhv and everyone uh, start living that way then i think it will work i am not saying that see again i am dependent on others if i depend on others so that all of us have the right understanding then only i am going to be happy then it means it is again an external influence it is again something that i am trying to depend on outside anyway we'll continue with this didi try to see so what we are saying and another thing that you mentioned like meditation so meditation essentially means meditating paying attention yeah sitting for calm for one hour and concentrating on uh, sitting, self sitting separately Pre could be sitting separately could be one program it's not that i have to sit separately close my eyes you know and sit no not focusing on the sound like which is happening at that moment okay so what i am saying we can meditate every moment when i pay attention to the reality i am meditating so i need not uh, sit in a particular posture for a certain duration of time to meditate so once i am able to observe the reality once i am trying to observe the reality also then i am meditating and this is something that i can do for all the 24 hours like i want to yeah i get it sir i get it because i leave the way uh, the way you are seeing uh, you are saying 
but now when i'm like i'm working i'm a mathematics lecturer in diploma college uh, somewhere after joining for this uh, work i felt so, like what is this why did i take maths in that <laughs> way because the way they treat no no i i really love the subject and i'm even putting my effort to know what exactly it is so that is not a problem i am not dependent like uh, i am not external factors are not affecting me but somewhere at some point uh, we lose control i know that i say that it is me who is putting it is me who is doing all these things so because of that these small effects will be there so even that also i need to overcome nice nice some more hands are raised but let me go to the content okay, yeah. now yeah okay sir. Yeah, can you share the content? So this was the assignment that we are discussing, and we had taken up yesterday. Yeah. So now we can elaborate upon it. So being innate nature means that the effort is <clears throat> somewhere within. So effort to ensure happiness within. So I am trying to ensure right understanding within myself. I am trying to ensure right feeling and right thought in the self. So when I am working for happiness to be innate nature, my effort would be within me, isn't it? I'll try to be resolved. I'll try to ensure the right understanding of the reality of human being and the rest of nature. I'll try to see that I have the right feeling for every human being, for every entity in nature, and based on that, I have the thought which is guided by right understanding and right feeling. so even if we did not pay attention to the self now we can start but when i assume happiness to be an external influence then what would be the program now so the common methods of getting happiness from outside could be like one source could be from the taste of favorable sensation so obtaining favorable sensation through the body ensuring the physical facility through the contact of which favorable sensation is obtained my effort is now going to be somewhere outside and one major outside source is the favorable sensation which i get through the body so there are five sense organs sound touch sight smell and uh sound touch sight smell we can shop the sparse root ras gan form isn't it so through these five sense organs i try to fetch happiness from outside and the other source could be from the taste of favorable feeling and sharing these feelings through work and behavior like wealth accumulation domination acquiring position name and fame so that people can pay attention to me isn't it and we are paying attention to these externalities we have been doing that and now we need to pay attention within So if you if you see uh, the current situation, people are mostly working for these two sources: accumulating wealth, you know, consuming physical facilities. Why? What is the purpose? Why is there so much of show off in the society? Why are people are trying to display wealth so much? Why people are running after getting favorable sensations? if you just see to have the sensation of some space tour for 20 minutes people are ready to pay 2.5 crore rupees we just see the 2.5 crore rupees that got spent in a 20 minute stay in the space just for merry making so for some favorable sensation is it worth and one could get sensation only for 20 minutes out of that what will happen to the rest of life and i if i try to become dependent on this for happiness what will become of me am i going to be happy am i able to see that happiness inside me or i will always have to run outside so what will do for 5 minutes you can observe this what am i doing am i working to make happiness my innate nature or am i working to have happiness as an external influence from outside where am i putting effort presently 
सो विल ऑब्जर्व फॉर फाइव मिनट्स एंड देन विल डिस्कस जी भैया कैन यू डिस्प्ले द स्लाइड फॉर ऑब्जर्वेशन भैया या सो वी स्टार्ट ऑब्जर्विंग स्लाइड विल बी डिस्प्ले स्टार्ट ऑब्जर्विंग लेट अस इवेलुएट द प्रीवियस डे हाउ मच टाइम आई स्पेंड टू एंश्योर हैपीनेस विद इन एंड हाउ मच टाइम आई स्पेंड to get happiness from outside nice so let us observe this for 5 minutes and then we'll discuss
I think in uh, you can also write your affiliation and the batch number. So you are joining the morning session for the first time, or you have joined earlier also. That is also joins. Acha acha. Which batch you are in? Right now, uh, tenth batch. And actually, no, from seventh batch, from seventh batch, I also started. Okay, okay, nice, Bia. Ji. Uh, as per my experience about yesterday, uh, in a happiness unit, in regarding that, my observation. As they conducted a program in our college on disaster awareness program. Okay, in the disaster awareness program, uh, I felt happy personally. At the same time, what the why I am felt happy? This program uh, uh, objective is inculcated to all these students. What is the essence of the disaster awareness program? Live demos also are conducted. That is the reason I felt happy yesterday without watching any TV, watching a cell phone, or internet, Google, anything. And that is my observation. And again, uh, some of the students also felt very happy after this program. How how to react when there is a disasters occur in day to day life? Uh, that is my observation, sir. Then observation in the sense, happy, innate happy, in, uh, happiness is innate nature. Sometimes uh, it is influenced by external effects also, according to my feeling, based on the yesterday moments. Okay. Namaste, sir. And you observe it further. Observe it further. And try to see for yes, how sir. much time in a day I have to depend on something outside for happiness. And yes, when sir. do I go for that? So yes, there yes, are some yes. subtle points to observe here, which I can yes. share. Uh, so try to find out, like, what are the reasons for yes, which yes. I have to depend on something else. For example, maybe you are uh, switching on your mobile or turning to your mobile. So what is the reason behind that? Yes, yes. Am I doing that to fetch happiness for me or something else? If I have to relax, what would be the mode of relaxation? So to relax means to again get some external influence. It could be something else. So what are the purposes for starting from mobile? Let's say, what are the purposes for which I am using mobile? Try to find out. Am I using mobile to fetch happiness from me, for me, or am I using mobile to participate in the larger order? Why I am using the mobile? So you can start from the mobile as a as an observation, and then try to look for other things also. So what you are sharing is one incident that you shared regarding the session that you attended yesterday for disaster management. We but only organize it. We only organize it. Yeah, yeah. Nice, Bia. So based on the observation that we had for these five minutes, uh, it just occurred to me that we can start looking into the purposes for which we use the mobile. Am I using the mobile as an external influence to have peace, to have harmony, to have uh, happiness, to relax? Or am I using mobile as a means of communication with the outside world? Try to observe this. So you'll see that there are two major sources from where we seek happiness presently. One is the taste of favorable sensation, and the second is from the taste of favorable feeling. Now, several feeling means that somebody showers praises on me, somebody pays attention to me, somebody appreciates me. You know. So, these are also like uh, ways in which we try to fetch happiness. And for this, we do so many things. We try to be special. We go for favorable, uh, like we go for garments, we may go for uh, accessories, we may go for houses, we may go for instruments, we may go for vehicles so that people can pitch, that people can pay attention to us. So this is another major source. And if you look at the current trend in the society, people are trying to accumulate wealth without ever being able to find out how much wealth they require for the sake of happiness. And if you sit with them and talk to them and try to find out whether they are happy or not, you'll see that they are not happy. 
now we may be one of them also so we have to observe for oneself isn't it am i doing this or not am i trying to understand happiness am i trying to ensure happiness within or am i trying to fetch it from outside through these two sources if you feel that there could be a third source also which is external to me then try to find it out and uh, try to explore for that also yes sir yeah nice nice bhaiya ji bhaiya uh, uh, i am participating in the third time this in this batch and uh, when didi was speaking about uh, happiness uh, uh i can observe that from my uh, exercises yesterday that uh, how 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 much time we take before we re reach out to our gadgets so i can uh, hold on for another uh, an hour or so uh, before i reach out to it and that's why this question is coming that whether happiness uh, can be achieved in uh, steps or uh, uh, do we get full happiness and then uh, uh, uh we uh, proceed so that was a question i was having in my mind so the question was not very clear so what we can do bhaiya we can start with your question tomorrow okay do you want at 5:30 we'll start with your discussion on your question because it is time also so i have to conclude now okay ji 